Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another retro showcase and review. And today we are going to be taking a look at a series of storybooks. Actually, I have five of them here. One is from 1987 and the other two are from 1989. And they are based on the American sitcom ALF, which aired on NBC from September 22nd, 1986 to March 24th. 1990. So these books were released between then, 87 to 90. Now, the thing about this show is originally it was conceived as a show for all ages, adults and all. And I think in the first episode you can actually see Alf drinking a beer. And I think after that they started noticing the reception that kids were having and children had to the ALF character and they decided to tone it down and make it more towards children. But originally these were not really... Um, this was not really a series meant to be for children or kids, but I guess, you know, after a few episodes, they caught on and decided to, you know, you never saw them drink a beer again in any of the episodes, which I read that online. Um, but yeah, um, ALF, like I said, ran from 86 to 90. Um, I have a little bit more on ALF that I'll get to here in a bit, but these are a series of storybooks that were produced by Checkerboard Press from New York back then. And Checkerboard Press, it says also they had ALF coloring books too on the back here. Um, but 1987-89 Alien Productions, which was the company that produced ALF. Um, ALF, of course, stood for Alien Life Form, kind of like E.T. stood for Extraterrestrial. Everybody has to love ALF, though. If you know ALF... You love them. If not, maybe you learn a little bit about the character and whatnot. But, um, yeah, um, I want to thank everybody who's checked my videos out lately. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. Give me a like if you like what you see here. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified for all my upcoming videos. And now, let's check out these five storybooks from the Checkerboard Press um, 1980s storybook collection here um, from the American sitcom ALF. Alien Life Form. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have ALF, the Alien Life Form, and we have five storybooks here. As I said, started off a show that was directed towards adults, all ages, um, but after a few shows, they realized the reception that kids had to the ALF character, which is here, if anybody doesn't know. Obviously, that's ALF, and they decided to direct the show more towards young adults, and children. Um, so yeah, um, obviously, anything that has to do with kids or children back then, you had to have your storybooks, coloring books that were made for them, and these are the Checkerboard Press ALF storybooks. Um, and as you can see here on the back of this first one that we're going to check out, which is ALF, the Great Alfonso. Um, you can see on the back here, it says, Hey kids, you want to have more adventures with your favorite alien? No problem. Join Alf and the Tanner family in all these fun-filled storybooks from Checkerboard Press. A Day at the Fair, Mission to Mars, Summer Camp Adventure, and The Great Alfonso. They had four here in 1987. Not sure if they had any from 86. I couldn't really find too much info on these. If anybody does have any earlier than this, um, when they started the show, um, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that it probably took... A year or so before they started really steering the show towards a, a child audience, um, a kid audience that they uh, started making these children books, coloring books, whatnot. But there's a great picture of Alf up there in illustration, and of course these are all illustrated. You can see Checkerboard Press, New York, and your barcode and whatnot. But you see there, 1987 Alien Productions, all right, all rights reserved. And you might be thinking, who is the Tanner family that they're calling right there? Well, here's a little on ALF itself, if anybody doesn't know. Nick named ALF, obviously an acronym for Alien Life Form. He crash lands in the garage of a suburban middle class family called Name the Tanners. The series stars Max Wright as Father William Tanner, or Willie Tanner, I should say. And Shading, I don't think I'm getting this, these names right, as the mother Kate Tanner. And then Andrea Elson and Benji Gregory as their children, Lynn and Brian Tanner. So those are all who live in the household which he crash lands. Alf was per performed by puppeteer Paul Fusco, I think I'm getting that right, who co-created the show with Tom Patchett. And as I said, it was produced by Alien Productions. Alf originally ran for four seasons. 
Hold on a second. Originally ran for four seasons and produced 100 episodes, including two one-hour episodes that were divided into two parts for syndication, totaling 102 episodes. The series proper concluded with an unresolved cliffhanger, but the later TV movie, Project ALF, provided a series finale for the property. So they ended up coming back and finishing it out um, with the TV finale. And in August 2018... Warner Brothers Television announced the development of an ALF reboot, um, but these plans were canceled in November 2018. So there is a little bit on ALF there. Um, hopefully everybody understood all that I said, maybe made some errors on my talking like usual, but um, I think everybody gets the gist of it. So now let's check out these ALF books. Very cool. Like I said, this one from 87. We're kind of just go through here and check out the illustrations because they're very nice. You can see there. Checkerboard Press, 1987, all your stuff, ALF, uh, copyrights and all that. The Great Alfonso, so obviously it's going to do with some circus stones. I'm not going to read it, but we can go through here and check out the illustrations. Very nice. Very nice childlike um, illustrations here. I kind of like the style that they used for it. Just like you would see in other 80s children's storybooks back then. I'm not going to take a whole lot of time here, kind of just flip through and see what Alf's up to. And then get to the next one, because I know a lot of people have probably never saw um, these books before. I know I never, I don't remember them. Um, if I had them, I do not remember them. Here's Alf with the pizza. Of course, he's always hungry. He has a taste for cats, too, and I think they made him tone down the taste for cats there as well. Um, You'll never know what I went through to get this pizza done in time. So, I don't know what the story was all about, but nice illustration. So, there's the great Alfonso from 87. Next, we have, this is an 89 checkerboard press book. And you can see here, it says, Hey kids, you want to have even more action-packed adventures with your favorite furry alien? No problemo. They, they went Spanish on that one. Alf and his friends provide the laughs and all these fun-filled storybooks from checkerboard. And it says, Alf in the Attic. Winner Take Alf, Alf in Old Predictable, This Place is a Zoo, a day, in the a day at the Fair, Mission to Mars, Summer Camp Adventure, and The Great Alfonso. So they put the older books on there too, so they're all one collection. And it says, and look for Checkerboard's Alf Coloring Books too. As I already mentioned in the video, Checkerboard Press, New York. And you see there, on this book, it doesn't say 89 under there, but a different illustration of Alf here for the 89 books. Um, then on the 87, there's a little comparison between the 87 and 89 backs. You can see they actually put the year um, on this one, but they failed to put the year on the 89. But as we go inside here on Alf and Old Predictable, I think we got enough on the cover of that one. But Alf and Old Predictable here, and you can see 1989 Alien Productions. On the inside, Checkerboard Press. Trademarks of Macmillan. So, we have Alf and Old Predictable. There you see Alf um, and his trademark shirt in this one. And this one, they didn't have him in the trademark shirt anywhere that I remember. Yeah, he's just straight up Alf. I remember they always had him in this shirt. A lot of stuff you've seen. Even in the cartoon, they had him in this shirt. They had an animated series for Alf, actually. Believe it or not, something that I kind of forgot about um, mentioning. But they did have an animated series, and that's basically what he was dressed in. So I'm wondering if the animated series came out around this time. They used the illustrations more off that. I'm not sure. Um, but that yellow shirt, that's like, you know, classic Alf right there. There he is going to the airport. So different style illustration in this one, really, than the first book. They don't look like, let's see, illustrated by Eldon Dotty, and this one's illustrated by Emily Kong. So yeah, they use different illustrators. Even the covers, doesn't even say who did the cover on the 89, but you can obviously see different art styles there, which is neat, seeing different kind of art styles for the ALF books. But, gotta love these. And I like that he is in his animated series button-up shirt there, Hawaiian-style shirt, I guess I would call it, or something like that, but, kind of looking spooky here in the end, ooh, fire-breathing, like, dragon.
Dragon deal. Pretty nice. So these are very cool. So yeah, just go through this. Show them all off. And then there's the end. Look at that. He's got a whole family of them. The whole Alf family. So next we go to the next one from 1989. And that is in Winner Take Alf. That cover's kind of funny. But yeah, in all these other ones, he does have the shirt. So, I don't know if they did the animated series after this 87 one, but I just noticed that. But you can see in this one, he clearly is not depicted with the shirt. He just... Plain old Alf. But, even in the beginning here, I think they show him just chilling without the shirt. But in the ones after, he's got the shirt on, so... Maybe they like the uh, look with the shirt better. But like I said in the animated series, that's what he looks like too. So maybe this is when the animated series launched. But here is the inside illustrations. Very nice. Don't want to spend forever looking through these, but this is like one of the first times I've actually looked through each of these myself. So kind of interested. Tanners, of course, all up in these. Real over here. Gotta love Alf. So yeah, there is in Winner Take All. You can see the backs. Of course, different colors on the back, but basically the same as the other 89 book there down to everything that's written so these back here so a couple more to look through and you can also see on these as well that I forgot to point out dollar 95 is what they cost back then here's Alf this place is a zoo so it'll be interesting and, oh, I just noticed on these, you have your 89 Alien Productions, all rights reserved, on the front left. So they didn't put it on the back, but on the front of this one, they do not have it down there. Even though the price was $1.95 still, they ended up putting it down here to the left, I noticed. Good find. And this place is a zoo. Like I said, I don't know how long it's been since these actually have been um, looked through. Picker Randy picked these up for me. So I can't think of enough. About a buck a piece, I think, or less. Can't remember exactly what he gave these to me for. But he's definitely straight up in the zoo. I think he's just another animal. <laughs> and eater coming at him. Nice. Old Tanner's looking around. Sorry if I stop on a few of these. I'm just trying to uh, see what's going on with this anteater. But it looks like the anteater's in love with Alf now. That's kind of funny. Well, that's kind of sad. The anteater was in love and he just takes off. So good old Alf and the Tanner family heading back home. And then, in the very last, you can see this had the green border on back. But all the same stuff listed as the other 89 book. But, last but not least here, we have Alf in the attic. You can see he's got all kinds of stuff in his chest here. Is that a slice of bacon? Chicken? Piece of meat there? got all kinds of stuff here but of course in his shirt again and of course 1989 alien productions once again there's Alf doing some writing looks like Emily Kong did all the illustrations for these 89 books but once again 
Looks just like he's straight out of the um, animated series they did. I'm pretty sure Deke did it. Um, Maybe wrong, but... So correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Deke produced the animated series for ALF. And it looks like, you know, the illustrations just got better and better as they went along on these books. Very nice. Kind of like you're just reading straight out the cartoon series. Which I remember, you know, it didn't run a very long time, the animated series, but I do remember catching it on TV. So, yeah. Very cool, though. I want to thank everybody who has stuck with me till the end here and looked through each of these books. Um, it's been a good time checking them out. Um, like I said, I hadn't looked at them really each page since I picked them up. Um, but, yeah, um, the 1987-89 to 89 ALF Storybooks by Checkerboard Press via Alien Productions. And yeah, guys, I hope everybody liked checking them out. Make sure you go check out some ALF. Um, I know you can find it uh, streaming some places and whatnot. So I even think Netflix had it at a time. If they still do, maybe. But um, I may be wrong, but I think I remember that. And yeah, guys, ALF, the alien life form. Checkerboard Press Storybooks here that I wanted to check out retro showcase and review and uh, make sure you hit that notification bell hit that subscribe button because i have some really cool videos coming up via my friend um, thaddeus aka the action figure jedi um, so yeah make sure you stay tuned and shout out to him and all the rest of my friends here um, and all the ones that support me here on my channel it's much appreciated and until next time guys i really hope you enjoy checking these out and as always Peace out.